Hi folks. Today we are at Walter C. Best Wildlife Preserve, which is part of the Geauga Park District of Geauga, Ohio. And right, you can see like a wooden gateway here, but right there they have a uh, loan a book, take a book thing. I'm which I thought was cool and then they also have a picnic bench right away and a shelter over there which you can see Mrs. Traveler and Lucy exploring that little picnic shelter which at times I actually um, when I was a traveling occupational therapy assistant, I would stop and eat my lunch here, and it's open 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Alcoholic beverages are restricted to shelters, which in Lake County, they're forbidden. Well, I don't know where they're going. But we want to go this way. Um, Walter C. Best. Well, wildly. Oh, this may not be the one that. But anyhow, never mind. I'm thinking that the Walter C. Best. Yeah. This 101 is a 101 acre park, and it was donated in memory of Walter C. Best. Founder of the nearby Best Sand Corporation, who built its 30 acre lake because of his interest in waterfowl. It's home to a rich diversity of plant and animal life. More than a hundred species of birds have been sighted here, making it a favorite of bird watchers, especially during migration, which we're past the migration period, but we still. I know I heard birds as soon as I got out of the car, and um, we might see some. Three paved trails total 1.45 miles and provide scenic views from all around the lake. The park is also considered a favorite for fishing and dog walking, which is what we're doing. And this is a map of the Geauga County park system there. And the map of the park. And as you can see, and all the trails in this park are paved. And there is a leash law. And it says it's strictly enforced. I don't know. Of course, we always have Lucy on a leash anyway. And already we see some, not sure what that is. Almost looks like Queen's Anne Lace, but I don't think Queen's Anne Lace gets that big. Lucy has never, well, Mrs. Traveler and Lucy have never been to this park. So it's all new smells for Lucy. Oh, she realized that I was way ahead of her, so she got a pep into her step. Uh, now we smell something. Do you want me to put those in the seat here? Or are you okay just carrying them? Okay. Uh, no, it's in my pocket. So, now, the majority of the paths are paved in this park. And there is a wooden bridge that we're coming up to right now. 
hopefully Lucy will come on it. Sometimes she's weird about the wooden bridges. Other times they don't bother her, so I guess we'll find out. But even on the wooden bridge, it's a little thin, but I think any wheelchair would fit on here. Might be hard passing people, but oh well. And it's rich. We've had some rain, so everything is green now. For a while we didn't have rain, but we got rain now. And this bridge actually does go up, which is weird. Never had a bridge that went up. Now, you can see here... This used to actually be a creek, but it's all grass down there now, so I don't know what happened. I guess it dried up, and there's the lake. So I think we'll turn right to go around the lake. Well, both ways go around the lake, but and some of the lily, water li what are those called? Water lilies. Some of the water lilies are bloomed. Yeah. Okay, because it loops around, so. Hmm. I think lily pads are cool even when they're not bloomed, but they're really cool when they're bloomed. Let's see if I can get that one on there that's bloomed for you. I guess there's an overlook there that. There's some daisies and Lucy. So they said there's some daisies and purple clover. And we'll there's an overlook here, which will go on, and I can show you the, um, bloomed water lilies. Yeah, there's a bird, I don't know if I got it, but, uh, and some nice field for them. Oh yeah, and that tree right there is a red-winged blackbird. I, I look back to Kathy to show that I said it right. I'm not sure if I really got it or not. Even though it's really smoky here today, I um, it's still get the glare. I guess they're telling you to stay behind this and not get up there so you fall, don't fall in the uh, pond here. And they, they are really pretty. Yeah, I always like them. I wonder what kind of water plant that is. Okay. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, so that plant that we said, we wonder what it is. There's a bigger one over here. And it it's called what? 
Hey, room. Green arrow. Hey, Green arrow. Hey, room. There's some more of your. Tracks fly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It attracts flies. So I don't want any of that near me. Small mammals and water birds feed on this plant. Oh, and water animals feed on the plant. So. And it's toxic to humans, so humans don't eat it. Now she's going to stay. Lucy, you're goofy. She was trying to get off the overlook, and now when we want to go, she's like, but she's going. And as you can see, there's a p couple pavilions for picnicking over there. Let me get the zoom going. And this park does can get crowded at times. It's rather empty today. People probably don't want to be out walking because the air quality isn't too great. Prayers for you all in Canada. And we have some cat and nine tails coming up. Or as which actually they're kinda far out from the water, aren't they? What are those? Is that thistle? Never mind. That ain't cat of nine tails. That's thistle. Which should make the finches happy. I don't see any finches, but it makes them happy. We actually have a... There's... That was some sort of bird. What are they? The white flower. I wonder if we have... We might actually have some of these, honey. There's a bee pollinating one of them. Don't know if I got the bee on there or not. And of course, there's a... So... There's a duck shelter there. It's foxglove which is a wild flower that we see quite a bit of. I don't think we do have that though. And she's, she's taking it off. So I never seen, way back that way. Um, I never seen the duck shelters out of the water. So I don't know if it, that area in there had water at one time. There's some birds flying over there. One is perched on a, a log. I think it's a robin. But isn't that weird? Yeah, there's one, there's a robin perched on that log there, which I got. So, and then there's another cool looking flower, which I know we've taken a picture of before, but I can't remember what it is, of course. Don't get old, people. Now it's talking about that one back there, that bush type thing with the white flowers straight ahead of you. Oh. It's silk something. At least Mrs. remembers part of the name. 
so and again there's some more of the lake that you can walk around and they said that I might have read that that there's a it's home to a I think an endangered species of trout is that a rose honey One of those multi floral roses, or rose. it's a swamp rose, which kind of makes sense that that would grow in this area. And we're coming up, I think that's a bat box oh, up there. A lot of that yeah, there's a lot of foxglove in here. And then, um, well, now you probably hear the ambulance siren. I was trying to let you hear the birds. Yeah, there's a red winged, red winged blackbird. Yeah. So, um, oh, geez, right there's one. They just all of a sudden flew right in front of us. There's a lot of birds here for bird lovers like us. There's some bird boxes up here and a bat box. I think that's a bat box. Unless it's an owl box. So when we get a little closer, I'll get a little better look for you. See if I can get it, get them in better for you. And actually, when we get up here, I'm going to need to take a little break anyway. Oh. Shoot. I missed the birds going, coming in and out of the, bo the bird box. There, he's on top of the bird box. I wish I could, wish there wasn't a... I don't know. I'm hoping you all can see the bird on the bird box chirping away. I think he's telling us off. And there's a bunch in the field there. So. I'm actually going to pull over here and sit down for a little bit, but I want to, maybe I can get some of these birds, oh there's two birds on that bird box, yeah I'm not sure. Can't really see them good enough. I wish I had a better zoom. And then there's a, I thought it was a bat box, but I'm not sure now. I'm not sure I'm even getting it. But anyhow, as I said, oh, they're chimney swifts that are using the um, birdhouses. That's unusual for them. But anyhow, um, I'll be back. And as I said, I'm going to take a little rest right now. Uh, 
Okay, folks. We're at uh, Walter C. Best Park. As we said before, Wildlife Preserve in Chardon, Ohio. This is at the Sunset Shelter. And I don't know if I got. So now we're going to go and ex do some more exploring. Yeah, I don't know if I get in the birds or not. And Lucy is staying put for some reason. Oh yeah. It's a tree with no leaves with a bunch of birds on it and I'm not sure I'm getting it. It's really sunny today. Lucy. We want to go the other way, Lucy. The grill at the thing. Yeah. There's some bluebirds and I scared them. I couldn't get them. I was trying to get an up close. Yeah, there's a bunch of them flying around. I'd love to get an up close look at all of them. Hopefully you saw all of them. Trying to get up closer to the field here. Maybe I'll be able to. Chimney swifts. But they're actually bluebirds. We got one once in our yard. We were so happy about that. Now we know where to come and see some. Huh? So now we're headed down a little bit we come across anything really exciting there's a cool branch on a tree at least I think it's kind of cool but uh, it's actually some of the blue birds in that tree there So this uh, area is, well, I'm in the grass right now, but it um, is mostly cement paths, so wheelchairs can go. I might have mentioned that already, but it's very handicap friendly. 
here's some bird houses in the field there. So for now, I think I'll shut this We'll shut this off since somebody needs to explore. And if we come across anything cool, you know, we'll let you know. For those who did not see our hogback ridge, the ferns that Lucy's looking and smelling are called sensitive ferns. And also in the middle of that is a meadow buttercup which the meadow buttercups we've gotten at Erie Bluffs Park and also at Hogback Ridge. So those are a frequent part of our videos. Birds are sitting there something. Mm. My arms hurt. Okay. And now we're at the pond, which is another section of it. The lilies, water lilies. Last time we got a little better. They were more in bloom at that time. And I'm going to see too. Maybe that, I don't think that was. I think we're coming up to, oh. This must be the section where the pond water goes down the drain. It was really gushing last time we were here, but now it's just kind of a trickle, if that. Where? Way down the line. Uh, somewhere down by the water there was a butterfly that just flew by me, and I know I didn't get it. really pretty too and I don't see it anymore it went down there somewhere so there's plenty of nature at this well and it's called a preserve so usually they do get a decent amount of nature birds butterflies so it's a really I'd say 40 to 50 minutes, depending on traffic, through Chardon, uh, south off of I-90. We got some cat of nine tails there. So, um, if you are in the area and have some time to spend and want a break from the interstate and enjoy nature. This is another neat place to come. Um, and there are some places to stop and eat in Chardon. One of these days we'll do the square in Chardon. We haven't done that yet. Plenty of places we want to get to. And let's see if I can get the roses down there. I don't know if I found, got the roses on here or not. The sun really glares and I can't see what I'm getting, but there's some more of your buttercups, but anyhow, we will come back in a little bit.
try and get the wild turkeys. I'm probably going to hear that. Try and catch the wild turkeys. If y'all can see the bee, and he just flew away. There was a dragonfly here. There's some flying over the pond. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but anyhow, moving on, we'll be back. I'm trying to get a bluegill. And he's swimming way off now. Yeah, there's some little dragonflies in there. Flying around. Not seeing any more of the things. Oh, there's another one. I'm not sure if that's a bluegill or something else. And I'm not really sure I'm even getting it because the water kind of disguises them on the camera. There's a teeny fish in there too. A bunch of fish. So, anyhow. This is, is taking a picture of a plant to find out what it is. And Lucy is Oh, cool. Yeah. So we got some swamp milkweed. Awesome. And Lucy is all into the weeds. But we actually have some swamp milkweed in our yard. Hope that it blooms. That's really pretty. Awesome. Yes, you are hot. I know, honey. And I'm being told to stop it. And Lucy is like, why are we stopping? I know. I'm not going to put that on YouTube. They might show up at our doorstep. <laughs> and of course, we got some old picnic tables here if you want to picnic on them. And a little overlook. Which actually we showed you last time so that'll probably be in part one this overlook and we'll be back so we did find some feathers and there's like tons of them so we're actually wondering if a bird got attacked The Chardon Nest Monster might have come out and attacked some kind of bird. But anyhow, wanted to show you the feathers. And we'll be back. Got some thistle going here. It should attract the finches. Are they? Or are they? those other things and we got some black-eyed Susans here now at home we have flowers that kind of look like black-eyed Susans but they're actually Coriopus did I pronounce it right this time hmm. and there's a red-winged blackbird over there Shout out to Forty and Broke. 
who thinks about us when he sees red-winged blackbirds. We like being thought about. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leroy. Mrs. says if you think in a Chishira, she doesn't that. want you thinking that. Only I can think that, Leroy. And there is. Am I getting? Ah, the thing got scared. There, it landed again. I'm not sure. Is that a dragonfly, a butterfly, or some other kind of bug? Can you see it on that grass over here, honey? Uh, oh, okay. We think that's a dragonfly, and he's gone. So we'll be back in a bit. I think they might be roses. We found some flowers and that looks like a Japanese swamp rose. Oh, yep, swamp rose. And now the wind's blowing. But it kind of looks like a Japanese beetle on there to me. So, when we find some other stuff, we will be sure to let you know. And we got we got a bird down there grabbing something. Now he flew away. Here's a, another overlook fishing spot for people. We gotta see if Lucy will take a. She went for a little dip. We'll see if she'll go for another dip so I can get her on film for y'all. She goes. Yeah, I don't know if you all can hear the frog, but we heard a frog. Well, have a wonderful day again. <laughs> you too. <laughs> And there she took her dip. See you later. So this is the pond. It's pretty big. It goes for a distance around. I had thought about trying to do the whole thing, but I don't think we're going to. We're all kind of hot. Lucy's saying it's time to go back to the car. She wanted to go for a swim? Oh, did she? Wow. Too bad I didn't catch that. Lucy went for a swim, which tells you how hot she is. You can see her. And we brought some water, but she won't drink it. She wants to drink the pond water. So here is where we're going to say that 
I can't get that. Every so often something jumps out of the pond. I don't know if it's a frog jumping in or fish jumping out for bugs. But did that cool you off, little girl? Eh, not really. I hear a goose somewhere. But anyhow, this is where we're going to say we hope you enjoyed this venture with us. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you know when we're coming out with another video, one of our adventures, or something else. Who knows what we're going to do. But there's a nice big maple tree providing us some shade right now. And uh, as again, thank you very much for joining us. If you'd like to um, help defray our costs for our adventures, please consider buying us a coffee. The link will be in the description. And visit the people that we shouted out. Uh, links for their channels will be in, this in the description box of this video also. And remember, if you need a walker, a rollator like I use, breachers, long-handled sponges in the shower, whatever it might be that you need to help live your life to its fullest, get done what you need to get done, go out and have some fun. It's not making you handicapped. It's making you handy-capable. Again, thank you so much for joining us. You all have a great day, and God bless.